Okay, so today I got my, well, <laughs> I got a, a long-awaited accessory for camping. Um, I have Raynaud syndrome, which means that my hands and feet, um, the blood vessels when I get cold, really constrict in them. And my hands and feet get really, really, really cold. Like, they turn purple, um, especially my feet. So, for camping in the Pacific Northwest... I, um, I've always been worried about being cold, right? Being cold at night. Um, countless times I've had like a zero degree sleeping bag and I've awakened at like 2 a.m. just shivering, just shivering and don't know what else to do, right? And this is not even like 30 degree weather. We're talking like maybe 50 degrees. I get really, really, really cold. So keeping my feet warm, I've tried wool socks, doubling them up, etc. Nothing works. Nothing has worked for me. So um, this company... Sarah Madre, uh, came out with, uh, an idea on either Kickstarter or Indiegogo, um, I don't know, a while ago, a year ago, at least, um, for this thing called the Hot Pocket, right? And so I was like, huh, that sounds like if I was gonna go backpacking, um, that, you know, in camp overnight somewhere, it sounds like this would be ideal because it comes with, all right, so in the bag you get this big brown bag with your hot pocket actually in it and then you get a smaller box with uh, this little heat pack <clears throat> or power pack it's called the power pack I got the UL they also have the XL which is um, larger and uh, I guess it heats for longer <laughs> inside the power pack box it's tiny it's right um and you charge it I don't know if you guys can see you charge it here and then you actually plug it into your hot pocket also here so I'm gonna attempt today to start charging mine now that I have it so let's just go back the hot pocket I got the large is basically this situation here, right? It is a pocket that you can put your sleeping bag in. Ah, it's so big. I wish I could go further back, but I'm in an Airstream, so there's not that much room to go back here. I don't know. Let's see. It's about, I don't know, this long? <laughs> so it covers my face completely. Um, I'd say a foot and a half here maybe two feet this way and then maybe a foot yeah maybe like a foot and a quarter this way and then two feet this way and it's a compression bag so you can put when you're hiking you can put your sleeping bag in here compress it down using I guess these straps right um then when you get to where you're going take out your power pack plug it in and it will heat your sleeping bag so that when you get into it you're warm so Say you're backpacking um, and you're heading, I don't know, on a 10 hour, nine hour hike that day. When you get to your camp, you go to set up. Um, I would just actually take this out of my backpack, plug it into my power pack and let it warm up my sleeping bag, set up my camp. And then when I go to get in my sleeping bag, it's already warm. Once you're in your sleeping bag, um, so you have a choice here um, between 30 watts out and 16 watts out. So you can use a little bit or a lot of your energy. And then the next day when you're hiking some more, you can hang this um, in the sun for solar. At least that's what I read, but I don't know how it, hmm. Maybe I have to charge it with a solar. Um, I have like a goal zero solar thing. So anyway, not that I've been reading updates or anything. I was just kind of bummed that it took so long to get here. But with COVID, uh, production issues for the power pack, 
or slow, um, which is completely understandable. So I'm just happy to actually have it in my hand. So I have my power pack um, and I'm going to attempt to charge it. Um, I'm going to attempt to charge this just using the instructions that come in here because I'm more of like a visual person. I like to watch um, like YouTube videos about what I'm doing or where I'm going or, but I'm going to attempt <laughs> master degree holder scientist going to attempt to read instructions and uh, understand them. Oh wait, hold on. There's a zipper here too. Oh, ah, I forgot about that part. Okay. So yeah, you can also unzip it and then use it completely open instead of as a compression pack. And so I was thinking in my sleeping bag, what I would do is just unzip it and shove it down towards my feet. So it keep my feet and legs warm during the night. So, and on the inside it says warmth for the wildlings. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So two ways to use it as a compression sack for your, um, for your sleeping bag or quilt. I'm kind of undecided about this quilt idea. I don't know. Um, compression sack, <laughs> compression sack, or open it up and, uh, put it inside your sleeping bag. So those are two ways to use it. And then uh -uh, let me show you the, the port. So you just plug it up here. And when I was buying this, I think I remembered it saying you could just put it on your backpack while you're hiking and it would charge from the sun. But I don't really see that here. So maybe I'll need to use my own power supply to charge it um, during the day. We'll see. So I got my power pack. Got my hot pocket and I got my instructions here. So let's see. Power button check. Oh, there's also a flashlight. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's a flashlight. So, okay. Power button. I see where that is. Charging. Okay. Functions, charging. Oh, this is kind of simple, right? Functions, charging, using. That's easy. So, where are you going to charge? So locate the HIE charging port as indicated above. So on one side of this, it says HIE. On the other side, it says nothing. Provided charging cable is USB to USB-C. Plug in the provided USB-C cable to the HIE port. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's twist this. All right, so. We are going to plug in the provided USB-C cable to the HIE port. High E port, high energy port. I don't know what HIE stands for. High E, sure. All right, so that's plugged in. Plug in the opposite end, USB, to any USB compatible charger, phone charger or other device. So I guess I can plug it into my computer, right? So I'm, uh -uh -uh. okay. And then it says, once you do that, once your power pack begins charging, you will see the blue indicator. Oh, oh, oh. Blue's blinking. It's blinking. Blue is blinking. When fully charged, the blue indicator lights will be solid. So it's charging now. It's blinking. When it is fully charged, the light will be solid. For faster charging, you can use, oh, lightning chargers. So... I've got some mm, for my iPhone and my iPad. I think I have that. So, and I even have one that goes to the wall with a USB-C on both ends. So that might charge it faster. Okay. And then to use the solar system to charge the power pack and ensure you're using the provided HIE cable. The HIE port is the only input port. Okay, so all your charging goes to the HIE port and all your outputs come from either. So if you want it 30 watts, no, this says 60 watts. If you want 60 watts out, you would use this port. If you wanted 18 watts out, this port. So I'm, I'm thinking if I really wanted to uh, warm up my heating, uh, warm up my sleeping bag really fast, I could use the 60 watts and get it really warm really fast if I needed to. But if I was going to stick it down near my feet uh, and in my sleeping bag or my sleeping quilt at night, 
I'd probably want to use my 18 watt maybe just to keep like low steady heat just to raise the temperature a bit in my sleeping bag so I can stay asleep right um so that was pretty that was pretty painless all right so the instructions are pretty good even for someone who is like I've become averse to reading instructions I like to go to YouTube for everything and Sierra Madre has a ton of YouTube videos on all their products so okay and then when you use it okay haha <laughs> so when you use it it says use the HIE for heating and fast charging use the normal port for lighting and slower charging so you would use the 16 watt port maybe that says 18 <laughs> wow my eyes so the 18 watt port you would use that for lighting so with a flashlight here or slower charging hmm so you can also hmm, okay i think this is really handy i'll probably end up buying the other like i have the the ul from sierra madre i'll probably end up buying the xl too because if my husband and i both go out i'm not going to share my hot pocket with him so if he wants his hot pocket he needs to get his own all right so yeah i'm pretty happy um and it also tells you oh these different lights do oh okay so the different lights here apparently these four different lights let you know how what the power level is so light one light two light three light four let you know um about a 25 percent range so you'll know how much power your pack still has am i calling it right power pack yes your pack still has and then it'll let you know even when it also lets you know when you're outside um as far as like temperatures so there's a lot of information in this i like this this isn't like superfluous this is this is actually pretty useful information which i'm not used to getting with in instructions so they also have warnings be sure to read those warnings and uh okay so i'm happy so i'll let this charge probably all day and then i'll uh i'll try it out and i'll do another video for that all right bye I got my power pack. I got, <laughs> I just got lip gloss all over my hot pocket. Hold on. Let's try that again. <laughs>